Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you get into your chunky 1.3.1 or whatever version you're in, you're going to go to Select World and make sure you're in your regular Minecraft directory and go to the world that you want to make a render of. It doesn't have to be like a whole world, it can be if you like, but you just got to find the world that that's in. So for me, it's going to be Fantasy Island Map and click Load Selected World. Now it might take a little bit to load everything up. This is a decent sized map, about 600 by 600. Just give it a second for everything to all load up nice and good. So this is my map of what I want to do. So if I do, you know, click in here, you can go to the nether, the end, whatever, you know, that may be. So if you're on a survival world, let's say you got a, a gold farm or something in the nether, you just go to the nether and you can make your screenshot there. So if you want to load a resource pack, let's say I just wanted to go to Conquest, I could, or whatever, just open that up. I'm not using a texture pack for this render, but, or you can just load the default textures, which is what I want to do. So, here I'm with that, so I just reloaded that. Now, you're going to want to go to 3D Render, assuming, you know, that's what you want. So, or you can make, like, a just this view here if you want to make a map or something otherwise you just go to 3d render click on new scene then you're going to get some of these windows here and you cannot see that but I'm gonna add that in right now once you're in here you're going to want to um, well first you gotta go back into here so you can hide your preview window and that'll just get rid of that and I gotta do this manually because I'm using OBS to get all these so I want to do this whole map so I'm just gonna scroll out and say well I'm just gonna go like this I'm going to shift and left click just select this whole big area that's the place I want and then you're going to click load selected chunks so it might take a little bit you see down here is loading all them don't click on anything because it might freeze that's happened to me a couple times. I don't know if it unfreezes, but just wait a little bit for that to all go. And so that is already. Let me just bring up this here. And where is my chunk? Here we are. So this is where you're at. Now you can set your canvas size to whatever you want. I normally do uh, 1280 pixels by 720 pictures. That's standard HD. And once you're in here, you can. Um, where you're gonna have to look around a little bit. Uh, where is my camera at? Let's go here. There we are. So this is the map that I selected. Sometimes if you lost, like I was in the void, that's probably where my player was. And you know, you're gonna have to find that. Uh, so let me find a area I want to take a screenshot of. I think, uh, also, to move forward it's you know and you know standard WASD keys and then you also got like you know you just you know click with your mouse and you can sort of look around just move, use your mouse wheel to scroll in alright so this is the area where I want to be this how I'm gonna do my area now you can change your depth of field to make you know it more blurry so Normally I just do autofocus and I'll sort of like set on that block. I'm going to actually go up a little bit. I think I might. Hmm. think I'm not going to do much depth of field. Maybe a little bit. Not a ton though. Because I still want this to be quite visible. So maybe like. That looks nice to me. Field of view you know you can change so. If you want to like way back here, you know, way you zoomed in. Normally, I think I'm just going to keep this at 70. So I'm just going to keep that in there. 70, where it was. Subject distance, you can change that. Uh, I'm just going to autofocus that again. Oop. All right. So that's where I'm going to keep that. Now, you can change presets, to, you know, all that. Uh, go to your post processing, you know, all that stuff. Render threads automatically will set to what it is, and you can set how much of your CPU you want to use. So if you want to to go pretty fast, you can set that up to a hundred. I normally like eighty because that way it's not like overdoing my 
computer you can merge render dumps and also um somewhere around here but you can have it so that you can set your uh computer to turn off when you're done uh, for your sky mode you can download some sky maps i'm gonna load a sky map here it's on my desktop i think let's see if i can find it here um i think it's this one yep there it is and then you can change uh the rotation of your sky map to go however you want it to so i'm just gonna leave my like that i think that's good you can also do you know like 180 and set that to whatever i'm gonna go back to 90 where it was i like that maybe go around a little bit more there so that's where i want that you can enable atmosphere volumetric fog and clouds clouds is sort of like the regular default clouds so i'm not going to do that uh volumetric fog sort of makes stuff blurry in the distance i'm not going to have that for this but for other things, if you want it to sort of be like, I think I think it makes it a little bit more scary because you know it's you know foggy, you can't see much. So I'm just gonna leave enable the atmosphere, which is what I like. For your lighting, skylight, this is all kind of interesting. So you're gonna have to play around, you know, skylights there, or you can make it like super bright. I think I'm gonna have my sky about. I want it to be sort of bright, but not like ultra bright. So I think I'm gonna have it about. Here. I think I'll move it back to one where that was. Uh, sun. This is sort of like where your sun's at, so you can play around with this, and it'll sort of update you like real time. So there, my sun is, and you know you can change your, the altitude to make it like low or higher. I think I'm gonna bring this back around to think about here uh, I might move this over now the Sun does not really show up in your render but still something you know still have it there I uh, think I'm gonna just have that sort of like that uh, uh, emitters is like glowstone and torches and stuff I don't really use that but I do have some so I think I'm gonna set that to about 2 actually I'll set it to 1.5 I don't know if I can do 0.5 I think I can so I'm just gonna leave that there. Um, everything else, sunlight intensity, you know, make this like super bright or really dark. I think I'm gonna have it about at 1.54. All right, now you can change your sun color. So if you want it to be like this is the standard sunset, you can make it a little bit more orange if you choose to do so. So you can do like something like this. I still want it sort of brighter, maybe like maybe something like this I can try and maybe I'll do I think that might be good. Then uh SPVP target is sort of like how many how much quality you want it to be. Um so the higher that is, the cleaner it's gonna look, the less pixelated it's gonna be. Um trying to think if I didn't cover anything else uh, still water clear water you can set that play around with that I think that's all I have to say here so now you can go ahead and start rendering and so you, you'll sort of see how this good turn out will give you like a little bit so you can already see how this is already starting to turn up and then it takes about an hour, I figured, for the, the renders I like doing. And then, you know, you can change that from there. So, let's say I wanted to, you know, I don't really like the angle that that sun's coming on. So, I can be like, alright, let's change this to, maybe I want it over here. Now, that's gonna, like, restart your rendering. Because, you know, it's a whole different sun position. But, I actually like this back over here a little bit. So, I'll let that reset a second. Yeah, I like that. So you can just keep on rendering, and then I will get back to you when this render is done. And how you can finish up uh, the rendering. Okay, so once you are done, you can um, 
So you know I got this. Took 41 minutes, not too bad. You can change your post-processing mode so if you want to do a game or correction. Uh, you can do that while you're rendering. Just and if you put it on your render, it's a little bit faster. I like Tone Map OP1 for this particular render. And what you do then, you click on Save Current Frame. And I know you can't see this now, but um, then it will say like the object name and you can save that wherever you want so I'm just gonna save it to my desktop then you can like rename it should say dash a thousand whatever frame you stop that you can stop on any frame to save or click save current frame and if you click resume then it does like one more frame so it'll be like 1001 out of 1000 then you just click save and then click um, save and there it all and then I'll say writing PNG and then I'll be done with it says 720 out of 720 and there you go and you can put it wherever you want upload it uh, I don't know wherever you wanna do it or you can just be like hey look what I did yay or whatever um so this is how you make a basic render with basic settings I'll be going into more in depth tutorials with how to make different renders for different types of days so i hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials i'll probably have a playlist for specific you know types of renders you know if you want to do whatever i'll figure it out later but i just want to put up tutorial for anyone who needed to do that and yeah that's where we're at right now so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial peace